Hi, my name is Chad Reyes. I'm the co-founder and chief visionary over at Lions Pride Leadership, and I'm excited to be with you today. Today we're going to be talking about ending a year strong and beginning the new year strong. You know, every year around this time, so right now in December of 2019, every year what I do is I have a, a checklist that I've created that allows me to make sure that I consistently do the things that are going to help us succeed in the following year. So one of the things that I do is I look at planning for the upcoming year, creating the calendar, the marketing calendar for the upcoming year, um, events that we're going to be involved with for the upcoming year. Uh, and, and I do this diligently every year. I block out time in December. I block out probably somewhere between six to eight days and I literally take that time to properly plan for the upcoming year. Because I know this, I know, I know that when we, when we get started and the year begins, that's not the time to start planning. At that moment, we're already engaged in the year, we're moving, and it's gonna be very hard to do the proper planning. But I know that when we do the proper planning, it gives us the best chance for success. And I say this all the time, and you've probably heard this, uh, heard this from me before. I say I wanna have the highest probability to win. And in business, probability doesn't mean guarantees. It just means that it gives you the best chance for winning. So at the end of this year, at the end of 2019, I'd encourage you to block out some time, take some time to truly plan for this upcoming year. Plan for what you're looking to do. Plan for, for the events that you're looking to sponsor. Plan for, uh, have your marketing team create the marketing schedule for the upcoming year of when things are going to be going out. Because if you know what you're doing in the upcoming year, if you're able to know that you have emails that are, your organization is going to be sending out at this time, you can create a cohesive, comprehensive plan that's all integrated together. You know, I see a lot of times, I see business owners, I see leaders, what they're trying to do is they're just trying to, to make things happen on a whim. And that's okay and it may work for some, but those organizations, those leaders that strategically plan and are intentional with their upcoming year, with their upcoming month, they make, they have so much more success. And what I'd encourage you to do also is plan for the year, have your yearly goals, but then I'd encourage you to break down those goals and every month with your team, every month like clockwork, every month, have a prep for the upcoming month with your organization. So what you're doing is you're taking your yearly goals and then you're looking at them and on a monthly basis, you're spending 90 minutes with your team planning for the upcoming month. Because what I know is this, 12 great months makes a great year. And if you could focus on 12 great months at the end of that year, you'll have a phenomenal year. And one of the things I know from my friend John Maxwell, he says this, he says that you don't have to worry about the things that you're looking to accomplish. If you're intentionally good, you'll always exceed good intentions. Good intentions is not good enough if you want to make 2020 your best year yet. So God bless you. I hope you have a phenomenal year.